Hey, just want to go over something real quick. Um, this is a diagram you can use when you're figuring out a roof. I know it looks kind of weird, but it's a 20 foot span, eight and 12 common pitch hip roof with a ridge thickness of inch and a half. And so when you take uh, 20 feet minus an inch and a half divided by two, you get nine foot 11 and a quarter right there as Dutch sense would do. And, um, that you punch all this into a construction master or whatever, and you get nine foot 11 and a quarter run eight inch pitch. And then from there you get, uh, well, you know what? Let's do it. Okay. So we clear and we go nine feet, 11 inch, one quarter run eight inch pitch and the first button we get is rise six foot seven that's correct and then uh, diagonal for the rafter so this is your rafter length 11 11 5 16 so that's correct um, and what I was getting at for was the hip the way to draw that in 2d is to take the rafter run and come off of this point square the same length and uh, then when you connect those two, that, that hypotenuse is the ratio of 12 squared plus 12 squared, which is 144 plus 144. And it's the square root of that. So it becomes the square root of 288. So when this is an 8 and 12 rafter, your hip on a common hip roof is 8 over the square root of 288 which works out to be 16.97 and most people round it up to 17 so it becomes 8 8 over 17 versus 8 over 12 or 8 and 12 8 and 17 so rafter hip and once you've drawn this uh, if you look at all these there's a right angle right angle right angle um, so you can do the math real quick 90 and 90 180 45 um, so this line here you could either just draw it perpendicular to here or you can actually draw it with the angle that it needs to be this angle and then that's correct and i added these circles because the top of the hip lands where the top of the rafter is and so your calculated rise would be the same in both directions and using this um hip run which is a horizontal distance that you just found out by doing this math 9 11 and a quarter squared plus 9 11 and a quarter squared square root of that 14.0 and 5 eighths um, you use this as the run and this is the rise and you get this diagonal but you could just push hip val and get that value so so far that's common sense anybody anywhere can build a hip roof that works now the problem is like in the previous video I think I went here. Yeah. So the problem is when you hit the jacks. 16 inch in the center, correct. The uh, increment, 19 and a quarter, correct. But that first rafter length is wrong. And the reason why and, and how I figured that out and showed it just find out where I put it. Maybe I put it way up here. Let's see. Yeah, because I was curious. That's what it was. Yeah, there's a previous video you can go watch. Um, they go from a string line to the next 16 inch over string line to the next 16 inch over string line. And that's how they got their numbers. 10 for 1. Eight eight seven eights, and so what they didn't do, they didn't measure along the face edge because that dimension kicks over if you're going to do sixteen inches on center. And also, they didn't calculate for the thickness of the hip. You know, they're close enough. They're, what is that? Uh, nine sixteenths off. That's not a big deal on a long rafter, really. It just makes it run a little crooked. And as every good framer knows, that's one of those frustrating things you deal with when you're, you're decking and your plywood's running crooked.
but the uh, the real numbers are right here and the only good thing about uh, programming your own calculator is you can ask for the thickness of the ridge and the thickness of the hip or valley and what angle it's on and then all those things can be calculated to give you exact numbers so there you go this is uh this is what i really wanted to focus on was this is a very simple diagram showing how to get all the stuff that that first row in um, the construction master oh it closed on us okay this whole first row right here there you go have a good one